deliver proteins into living cells, uh, we can at least put them on the inside of our capsid carriers if we express proteins with these highly negatively charged tags. This string of uh, Ds and Es are aspartate and glutamate. Uh, those are two amino acids that have negative charges. And so when we put this on there, you can see we get this assembly of our capsids with the proteins trapped inside, about four to six copies. So um, this was a, a major step forward for us. We also can do this with many inorganic particles that have strong negative charge. Uh, here I'm showing these uh, little pictures here. They look a little bit like uh, uh, frog eggs or something like that. Um, but what they are, um, the larger circles are the viral capsids, and the black spots in the middle are actually gold nanoparticles. And um, we've used the same trick. We use gold nanoparticles with a high negative charge outside, and this triggers the assembly of the capsid structures, and now these particles are trapped inside the, the protein shell. Um, it's also kind of cool we can do different sizes, and we can do different multiplicities here. We're pretty excited about the optical properties some of these might have. Um, and we're taking these forward for a lot of different materials applications and some applications in imaging. But um, what I want to come back to is the chemistry, because um, I would argue we've actually solved the easy problem which is the modification of the inside, um, because we can take advantage of cysteine chemistry or this disassembly reassembly trick. Um, but what is much, much harder now is the establishment of the targeting groups on the external surface. And the reason for that is that, um, first of all, these are going to be biomolecules. They're going to be things like antibodies, peptides, maybe nucleic acids. These have um, the full range of functional groups the same way that the protein does. Somehow we have to staple all of those molecules together with very precise chemical reactions that can ignore all of the other groups in there and not cross-react. That's a big, big challenge. The second big challenge that Jen mentioned is that we have the problem that these are huge molecules. MS2 weighs about 3 million Daltons, and then we're going to put antibodies on the outside to make it bigger still. To get that to work, you need to have extraordinarily fast reactions, such that when you get the big bulk 